Hey, my name's Luke, and welcome back to the first hour of Unreal Engine course. You have now completed your game, and it's time to package this up so that we can share it with our friends. In this video, we're going to be going through the process of setting the default level that should be loaded when you package your game. But then we're also going to be showing you how we can actually package this up and turn it into something that you can zip up and send to your friends. Let's jump it straight into Unreal Engine and get this done. So inside of Unreal Engine, the first thing that we need to do with our package is tell Unreal Engine which level to load up. In this case, it's going to be my level underscore third person. This is the one that I've been testing my game in. To do this, I go to Edit and then Project Settings. And then inside of here, we're going to go to the Maps and Modes tab. Inside of here, we've got default maps. We've got Level Third Person under Editor Startup Map. And then we've got Game Default Map. This Game Default Map is the one that we want. Whichever level you want to load first, make sure that you choose it in here. So you can see I've already got this. Once that's done, it's time to actually package this up. And it could not be more straightforward with Unreal Engine. Let's jump back into Unreal. To do that, we're going to go to Platforms in the top. We're going to navigate down to all of the different target platforms. And you can see there is a warning symbol next to Mac, Linux, iOS, and Android. But Windows, because we're on a Windows machine, it's ready to go. We're ready to package. So we can go to Window, Package Project. And then once that's done, we can go to Package Project, choose a location. I'm going to choose my desktop. And I'm going to create a new folder. And I'm going to give this the name Platformer. Press Select. And then down in the bottom right hand corner, we can see my game is now packaging. So I can go to my output log and see what's going on. But more importantly, Unreal Engine is going to do the rest for us all completely unattended. And fingers crossed, this all packages, it all works, and we're good to go. If there is any errors, it's going to tell us what those errors were in the output log so we can fix them. But with a simple game like this, it's all going to work. I'll see you in a moment once this is finished. OK, that's it. Our packaging has just finished. I can see in my output log that the build was successful. And you probably would have had a really nice chime saying packaging complete as well. If your packaging has failed for whatever reason, I definitely recommend that you check out the Unreal source and just give them any information that you can find in your output log. But for the majority of you, as long as you've got the .NET framework installed, you are going to be able to package up and it's going to work just fine. What we're going to do now is we're going to find that package on our computer, open it up, and test it without Unreal Engine so anyone can use this. So I'm just going to save, go to File, Save All. And then what I'm going to do is find that platformer folder on my desktop that I created. And then I'm going to find the application inside of the Windows folder. This is our game packaged and standalone. So what I'm going to do here is just I'm going to just go ahead and close my Unreal Engine as we're not going to need this anymore. And then what we're going to do from here is we're just going to open up that application. And it may ask you if you want to trust the application. Just press yes. Press allow. And you can see now we're in our game. It's in full screen. It's working standalone. And I should be able to do this full loop. So let's just go ahead and test this out. I'm just going to run over and collect each of those coins. And also notice, now that we're not running Unreal Engine as well, the performance on this is really, really good because it doesn't have all of the performance head overheads of Unreal. Collect the coin, and we can either press Quit here, which is going to quit the game. Or if I just open this up again, just like we did before, I can play through. That restart's going to, that restart button's going to work. Don't worry about the load, just the level loading in here. That's just my computer's a bit slow because I'm recording. But then again, I can collect all of my coins. And let's just get there. Two more. One more. And just like that, game's completed. Background's blurred. I've collected my coins. I can press restart. And what that's going to do is just restart that level and let us play again. So that's it. Our game is complete. And it's also packaged up. If you want to send this to your friends, all you've got to do is zip up that Windows folder and send it to your friend and they can play it just like that. Feel free to take as much time as you want to building your worlds, 
upgrading your user interface and have fun knowing you've got all of the skills you need now to build a simple game inside of Unreal Engine. I hope you have enjoyed this course and as always, stay awesome, keep creating.